Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing both the coding questions which were asked in today's Accenture exam. This exam happened today only, that is on 4th November 2024. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video in the end so that you can get to know the different types of questions which are getting asked in the exam. Okay, so this exam happened today, but you might have exam next week or so on in this month so there are good chances that similar type of questions are getting asked in the exam so make sure that you are watching this video till the end and guys in later part of this video i will also tell you that what are the resources from which you can prepare for your accenture assessment okay so everything we have made at one place so i will be telling more about in the in the uh, future of this video so make sure to watch this video till the end and do hit the like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe gives us the motivation for making more such videos okay so let's start and before starting do join this telegram group also lot of discussions regarding different different companies for 2025 batch are happening here so the link you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment do join this telegram group so guys now let's start this video okay so guys first of all i will be dis discussing the question then the code of this question and i will continue the same format for both the questions that i am discussing in this video so first question is given the function accepts an integer arr of size n as its argument the function needs to return the index of equilibrium point in the array where the sum of elements on the left of the index is equivalent to the sum of the elements on the right of the index if no equilibrium point exists the function should return minus 1 so the question is very simple straightforward but it is saying we will be given an input array okay this is our input array so we have to find the equilibrium index now what is the equilibrium index where the sum of the elements on the right side of that index is equal to the sum of the elements on the left side of that let's just see with the help of example so here output is 2 that is this one so the second index is the equilibrium index so what is the sum of the elements on the left side of it so this these are the elements on the left side of index 2 so here the sum is 7 3 plus 4 is 7 now what is the sum on the right side of that index it is 7 again 1 plus 6 it is 7 so therefore this second index is the equilibrium index i hope it is clear to you it's very much straightforward now let's just quickly jump towards the approach of this particular question so what we'll do the approach is very simple this is our input array okay we will take two arrays one will store the left sum array another one will be, will be the right sum array okay again i am telling you we will be taking two arrays one will store the left sum array another one will be the right sum array okay so we are starting from here now what we will do we want that in the left sum array we want if we are we are at the current index we want sum till now excluding the current element so if we are starting from here okay if we are starting from here See, if we are starting from here, we want the sum of the elements till here, excluding this 3. So, what are the sum of the elements till here, excluding 3? It is minus 1 only because there are no elements. Sorry, it will be 0 because there are no elements towards the right side. Okay, I hope this thing is clear to you. Next, we again what we want that we are at 4 now. We are at 4 now. So, we want the element, sum of the elements till here. We want the sum of the elements till here. That what, will, what it will be? it will be 3 only excluding 4 till now we have encountered 3 only so therefore it will be 3 some of the elements still here next we are at this th third number now what are the some of the elements still here it will be 7 3 plus 4 7 again we are moving ahead but will be in the sum of the elements still here till here will be 3 plus 4 plus 3 that will be 10 okay that will be 10 now again moving ahead we, what will be some of the elements here till here ex excluding 6 it will be 10 okay sorry it will be 11 okay so this this is how we have filled the left sum array similarly we will be filling the right sum array but starting from the back starting from the back okay we will filling the right sum array so what uh, so here at current index if we are so what are the sum of the elements till here like including right elements till here okay so 6 has no element on the right so therefore the sum will be 0 here okay sum will be 0 here now moving towards the 1 so what are the some of the elements till here excluding one from the right it will be six okay i hope you are getting it now we are at three now what will be the sum of the elements till here excluding this so it will be one plus six that is seven okay one plus six that is seven now again we are at four what will be the sum of the elements till here excluding four it will be three plus one plus six that is ten 
3 plus 1 plus 6 that is 10. Now again what will be the sum of the elements till here? So it will be 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 6. It will be 7 plus 1 that is 8 plus 6 that is 14. Okay. So this is our right sum array. Okay. This is our right sum array. Now in the array we have two arrays left sum and right sum and we have filled both of these arrays. We have filled both of these arrays and now how we will find the equilibrium index. So what we'll do, see, the size of the left array and right arrays are same. So we will iterate over these arrays and the index, the index at which the left sum is equivalent to the right sum array, that is our equilibrium index. So what is the index at which left array and right array's value are equal? It is second index because it is 7, 7 values. So therefore, the answer is 2. So this is how we will be finding the equilibrium index. That is the sum of the left side of array is equivalent to the sum of the right side of the array. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Now let's just move towards the coding part of this video. Things will become more clear to you. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like to tell you that an, on our top mid page at Code Bashers, we have essential preparation material for 2025 batch. Yesterday only we have launched it. Okay, so in this particular preparation material, we have total seven sections covered. That is English ability, critical reasoning and abstract reasoning, common application and MS Office, pseudo codes, network security and cloud coding questions. So for all these uh, sections, we have around 110 plus questions for all these sections. And these questions are previously asked in Accenture only. So if I show you the sample of let's suppose common application in MS Office. So this is the sample of this particular PDF. So in this, you can see we have the question, we have the options, we have the right answer for it. Okay. So I know many of you are struggling for different, different sections while preparing for Accenture because there is no one place at which you can find all the resources. So the main idea behind this material was to make it structured material as well as to give all the co previously asked questions for different, different sections at one place only. And guys, believe me, many of these questions do repeat in the exam and these are previously asked questions of Accenture only. So the once you are prepare, preparing for your exam, you can prepare for this material. It's highly reliable and it's at a very nominal price of rupees 99. So I've shown you the sample for common application MS Office that we have question, we have options, we have correct answer. Around 110 questions for MS Office we have. If I will show you the sample of Accenture coding PDF. So here 60 plus previously asked coding questions are there. Here proper question will be there. Sample input, sample output is there, explanation is there and the code is also there. So these are well structured material that we have prepared. Okay. Keeping in mind the recent questions asked in Accenture. So if you are interested, you are preparing for your Accenture exam. You can check out this material. The link you can find in the description box and it is a very nominal price of 99. Okay. If you are interested, do check them out. The links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So now let's continue in the video. Okay, so guys, for saving time, I have already written the code. So in the function, you will be getting a array as input and the length of that array as input. So we'll take two variables, L sum equal to zero, R sum equal to zero, and we'll declare two uh, arrays. That is a left array and right array, as I've told you. So these loops are for filling that array. That is on a particular index, the left array will contain the sum of the elements left of the current index, not including, but left of the current index. Similarly, in the second array, we are filling the right array. So in right array at current index, the element will be the sum will be the sum of the elements on the right of that index, excluding that element. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. After these two loops are over, we have left sum array and right sum array. So we will iterate over the array and we will check which element is, uh, which element is e common in both of these uh, arrays. That is if left of I e double equal to right of I, it means that the index equilibrium index okay so else we will return minus one if we are not able to find it okay so let's just see with the help of the sample input 34316 the output should be 2 that is the second index is the equilibrium index let's just see <clears throat> okay sorry there is one syntax error okay this is the syntax error yeah Okay, and then we'll uh, we'll seeing for one another input also that should give us minus one. So if this will give us two. Okay, output is two as you can see. And if I do one, two, three, four, five, this should also give us minus one. This should give us minus one. So this particular code is again it was repeated in Accenture previously also, and today also it, the same question has been repeated. So the questions can repeat in Accenture. Okay, so here you can see minus one is given given to you. So guys, this particular 
code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. Now let's just quickly move towards the second question of this video that is again on the simpler side. Okay, so guys, the second question of this video is again very simple. See, we are given n strings as input and a s string is given. If s is present in above n string, return yes, else no. Simple. So input is, we will be given a six string. So six strings we will take as input and then again a s string will be given. That is this one. So if this string is present in the above six strings, we are output as yes, else no. So this string is present here only. So it is present in the input. So this was a very simple question that was given to you. So simply we will store all the uh, we'll store all the strings in the array and then we will iterate over a string one by one and check whether the s string is present there or not. So if present, we'll print yes, else no. So let's just quickly move towards the code and the things will become more clear to you. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like to tell you that an, on our top mid page at Code Bashers, we have Accenture preparation material for 2025 batch. Yesterday only we have launched it, okay? So in this particular preparation material, we have total seven sections covered that is English ability, critical reasoning and abstract reasoning, common application and MS Office, pseudocodes, network security and cloud coding questions. So for all these uh, sections, we have around 110 plus questions for all these sections. And these questions are previously asked in Accenture only. So if I show you the sample of let's suppose common application in MS Office. So this is the sample of this particular PDF. So in this, you can see we have the question, we have the options, we have the right answer for it. Okay. So I know many of you are struggling for different, different sections while preparing for Accenture because there is no one place at which you can find all the resources. So the main idea behind this material was to make it structured material as well as to give all the co previously asked questions for different, different sections at one place only. And guys, believe me, many of these questions do repeat in the exam and these are previously asked questions of Accenture only. So the once you are prepare, preparing for your exam, you can prepare for this material. It's highly reliable and it's at a very nominal price of rupees 99. So I've shown you the sample for common application MS Office that we have question, we have options, we have correct answer. Around 110 questions for MS Office we have. If I will show you the sample of Accenture coding PDF. So here 60 plus previously asked coding questions are there. Here proper question will be there. Sample input, sample output is there, explanation is there and the code is also there. So these are well structured material that we have prepared. Okay. Keeping in mind the recent questions asked in Accenture. So if you are interested, you are preparing for your Accenture exam, you can check out this material. The link you can find in the description box and it is a very nominal price of rupees 99. Okay. If you are interested, do check them out. The links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So now let's continue in the video. <clears throat> Okay, so the code will be very simple. So what we are taking, we are input is n. We are taking all the strings n as input. Then we have a string s that we need to find. And then we are calling this helper function with the array of strings and the string that we need to find. And we are simply iterating over the array, whether ar of i is double equivalent to s. Okay, if it is yes, so we are returning true, else we are returning false if it is not found. So let's just see with the help of a sample input. So I'm just clicking on that. <coughs> Just a second, I'm just clicking on that run button and <clears throat> yeah. So here we have three uh, string as input and we, S is also ABC. Now if we, I do S S A B C D, uh, so currently it returns yes. But if I do S S A B C D, it should return no because A B C D is not present in above array. Okay, so this code will also pass the all the test cases that will be given to you. So here you can see no is printed as expected. Okay, so I hope all the things, all the questions that I've discussed in this particular video are clear to you. Please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because more such videos regarding Accenture or different different companies, I will be posting on this channel and do join this Telegram group. Okay, the this is for dedicated 2025 batch students. Okay, so all the discussions regarding different different companies are happening here. The link of this Telegram group you'll find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So do check them out. And as I've described you, preparation material for Accenture. If you're interested, the links you can find in the description box for your preparation. So thank you for watching this video. Do hit that like and subscribe button.